Hello and welcome. I'm George Call, and welcome to something new. And what this uh, new stuff is, is I went out and uh, started collecting notes on composition to introduce composition to you because so many people ask me about my uh, skills in, in finding these places. Well, the truth is I take a lot of photographs and I go to a lot of places and sooner or later these things start uh, making sense. However, uh, Carlson and uh, Edgar Payne have great stuff on uh, composition. They're more of the classic guys that have written about that. But uh, what I've tried to put together, it's not the greatest um, video quality because the sound has been picking up the wind. But you definitely get the idea of how I uh, wander around and look for these places. So that's what I'm introducing to you today. And your feedback is really appreciated. And uh, if it's something that uh, you find useful, I'll keep doing it. But uh, get back to me on these very crude beginning um, videos on uh, composition. I really had a lot of fun getting out there. I spent a couple nights up there um, in northern Colorado and um, just uh, enjoyed it thoroughly, uh, wandering around and uh, talking about compositions. With that, let's bring it to an end and watch some of these uh, short uh, two, three, four minute uh, videos. All right. Hello and welcome to Composition. Um, this one here today, which I'm working on, is a good place to paint. And the reason for that is it's um, what I call a stacking. Okay, Right here you lot of, have a lot of horizontal um, willows and you have sage in the foreground. Then you have, um, in the back you have meadows. And behind that you've got hills with pine trees and behind that you have mountains and then dark ominous clouds kind of a nice composition okay so it's a stacking composition and uh, you find these all over the place I'm up in northern Colorado right now ADC just love it up here it's very early spring it's uh, late late May and there's snow fields off here in the corner I don't know if you can see them and uh, it um, really is still uh, just coming on with warmth and a uh, good day to go painting. So, But today is uh, composition. I'm going to be finding more spots for you and we'll be uh, uh, discussing each one of them. All right, so again, this one is uh, layering. So uh, keep that in mind. And uh, the way I find these places is to wander around. So. I think I was here some 10, 15 years ago with my friend Paul, we're both painters, and uh, I remember this spot because it's so darn pretty. Now, I'm going to show you another angle of this spot uh, just uh, by turning the camera, and I'm going to readjust that, and you'll see more of this kind of leading in with um, the uh, willows. There's a stream down here, it looks like a nice little trout stream, and you'll see how that could be a nice composition also. So that will be number two. All right, so stand by for that one. Okay, bye-bye. All righty, here we are in um, a composition with uh, willows and it looks like a trout stream here. And uh, the reason I chose this is because uh, you have a little bit more foreground showing you a lead into the painting right here. This is early uh, spring. It's late May. I think it's uh, the 24th or 25th. And uh, the reason I chose this as a composition is it's got that nice lead-in with willows. Now behind the willows you also have these uh, nice flat areas, these meadow things coming out from the side of the willows. And behind that you have pine trees. Behind that you have mountains, so you have some breakup and angles to the composition, okay? Now, if you want to put in fence posts, okay, maybe that'll be okay. I might just skip the fence posts, and where I would be painting this painting is probably my easel right in this area, looking over the fence, painting that area right in there. So, a little bit 
bit of variation from the uh, first one we had, and um, that is a little bit more of a lead-in into the uh, into the composition. So that is composition number two. All right, I'll keep going down the road and talking about more about composition uh, and the foundation of a painting. All right, bye bye. Hi, welcome back to composition for paintings. I stopped and searched out this place because of what I thought was a little different uh, than some of the other places we've been looking at, which is more vast. But what this really attracts me to is this beautiful ground cover. It's sage, and uh, as you can see, there's a kind of a lead-in with this grass coming in here to the to the left, and an angle coming down here as well as this soft yellow green from the aspen and uh, also there are these um, pine trees, kind of these dark pine trees in here that uh, really have a statement. If you look far back you can see that there's a mountain with pine trees, meadows and uh, still some snow on here in late, late May. So the reason I'm bringing these things to you is to Keep thinking about what you can find in composition and use your imagination. But this one just is so sweet and soft that I had to uh, stop and share it with you. All right. Enjoy the composition.